Hey everybody, Chelsea here from the Upstate Real Estate team showing you 100 Ellsworth Ave in Fleischmann's today. We're just over the border of Delaware County. Um, the house is perched high up on a hill. I'm coming to you from the covered deck right now. Um, and I'm super excited to take you guys inside. This home is filled with beautiful, charming, vintage details uh, that everybody wants and are so tough to find. So instead of me continuing to talk about it, let's go have a look. All right, and just to show you quickly before we head on in there, this is the awesome covered porch. Super beautiful. Tons of light here. You can see all the way around. And this will give you a little sense of the property slopes downward. Um, and then town is kind of just beyond um, another row of houses down below and across the street. So we'll head on inside now. Um, I have to be a little careful because there are some kitty cats in the house that are very desperate to go outside. There they are right there. Hey guys. So look at all of these amazing, beautiful details in this house. It's so rare we see something like this. You know, you have the vintage style radiators, you have these beautiful built-ins, you know, the mantle on the fireplace. Look at these beams. It's just gorgeous in here. Walking through before um, I take you into the dining room, we're gonna go through there. But just a quick note about the fireplaces. Um, this one is fully functioning right here in the living room. The one in the dining room can be made fully functioning rather easily. So we'll head on through here and I'll take you um, into the two bedrooms and the full bath and the half bath. So this is the first bath. This is the full bath for the home. Really pretty. It's a little bit more modern in design, but then you have these like really fun details like the wood paneling around the tub, which I love. Um, super bright, really clean, sleek space. And then heading into the first of the two bedrooms. Both bedrooms are pretty close in size, I would say. They get lots of nice light. Each of them have a closet, nice big closet with built-in shelving. And each of them have one of these awesome built-ins too. So you have drawers and then you have more storage space. They're using them each for TV, which I think is a great idea. Now we'll head across the hall. Hi, bub. And this is what I would consider the primary um, for a couple reasons, but mostly, so this one has exact same built-in as the other one. This additionally has a nice big closet. You can kind of see what one looks like when it's empty. And then it has this really fun, funky half bath off of it, which is why I'm considering it more of the primary space. And all of the wood floors through here are original to the home. They were covered in carpeting. The current owners ripped up the carpeting and found what everyone hopes to find is these beautiful hardwood floors. So they really lucked out there. Um, coming into the kitchen, lots of nice ample space. Swing you guys around here so there's access to the uncovered deck, which we'll take a look at a little bit later. And then these awesome built ins. Again, like the craftsmanship of everything in this house is just phenomenal. There's this. This isn't hooked up, but this is just a super fun, funky, old style stove. And this would be the little side porch. So, 
Imagine making dinner here and then going out there and having nice alfresco dinners. Um, we're gonna head upstairs now. And among all of the amazing renovations and restorations and updates that were done to this home, the attic is a true standout space. So the current owners took the attic from just your basic, you know, dingy dark attic and they made this space out of it. So this adds a ton of functional space to the footprint of the house. They have two offices set up up here. This could also be an informal, hello, um, TV room, workout space. You could keep it as offices, especially this space. You could have an additional sleeve up here maybe. The skylights produce so much natural light in here. It's really, really beautiful. Kitty, what are you doing? I'll take you downstairs. And then we'll head outside. So we're gonna go out the little side door on the house and we'll go take a look at the property. No, no, you have to stay here. Almost had an escape artist on us. Um, <laughs> so we're out on the little side porch. This takes you into the basement, which is an awesome space in and of itself. And then just swooping you around here. That's the little shed that's on the property. 28 does run right through here. So you can hear it when you're outside, but not a lot. And you really can't hear it from the inside. I mean, this house is so solid. So that's the deck and we'll go down here. So the driveway stops right up there. There's a little, I've tucked my car into the little parking space that's there. And then that's the driveway leading down. I'll take you guys through the front yard so you can get a little bit of a sense of the property. We're on just under an acre here. And that's where you would come in from the road. And the road slopes all the way down and then you turn right to head on into town. So if I'm coming around here, you can get a sense of the house. So there's the covered porch where I started our tour. You definitely feel you feel like you're in a chalet of sorts, for sure. Um, you know, you really are perched up so high. And it's just really beautiful here. You feel very private. You have a neighbor on the other side of you, which I think you could see when I was showing you where the parking space is. And you have some other neighbors that you can kind of see, but you really have so much privacy here. So. And I'm going to swing you guys back around so that I can tell you a little bit about the area. Um, hey everybody. Uh, so Fleischmann's is an awesome little town. Um, you have coffee shops and eateries and galleries and maybe a wine bar in a little bit. I've heard some rumors about that. Um, you also have an amazing park just on the other side of the street that has community tennis courts. Um, they're always full. There's always people bopping around. You're also seven minutes from Bel Air Mountain, which is huge if you're into winter sports. There's also a swimmable lake there in the summertime. Um, and you're super, you know, you're close to Delhi, you're close to Kingston. You're another like 35 to 40 minutes from Hunter on Wyndham Mountains, um, if you'd like to go out there and you're surrounded by hiking out here. So there's no shortage of things to do. This is an awesome spot. I hope you guys come to see it this weekend. Thanks for going on the tour with me, everybody. Bye.